Today's intro is going to be filmed in my, not brand new, it's actually used. Today's intro is going to be filmed in my truck just because, well, I have a truck now. I want to thank three guys for all the help they've given me buying this truck and also fixing her up. So in order to thank them, I want to turn them a nice gift or something. So I got three rough bulls here that I rough turned about a year ago now, just under a year around October of 2015. So we're gonna go ahead, throw them all back on the lathe and finish them all up. So I have it here on just a wooden jam chuck and you can see we have one out around since this guy started warping. And if anybody's curious, when I punch in my moisture meter to this guy, it reads at 11% moisture content and anything under 15% is dry. Some of you guys may have noticed there's no tenon on this. That's because I used a face plate to rough this guy in and I'm not exactly sure why I did that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn a tenon. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and smooth over the entire outside and sand and then flip it around and do the inside. I remember at some point during the drying process of this, these cracks here started to come out and I already filled some of them in with some CA glue, but they have just spread a little bit, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue. I don't have any activator on me, so this may take a long time to dry, so I'm gonna set this one to the side and work on the next bowl. So I'm kind of trying to work and do the same steps on the bowls all at once so I don't have to change my setup. So instead of starting sanding on this, I'm going to go ahead and put the next bowl on and do the same exact thing I did to this. Also, before you start sanding, it's pretty important and worthwhile to take a few very fine slicing cuts with the full length of the bowl gouge before you start sanding, because it's going to save yourself a lot of time trying to get all the tear out removed when you can easily do it with the bowl gouge in a matter of seconds. I have my dust collection hood set up here so I won't get breathing in all this dust. I'm going to go ahead and start power sanding. I'm going to use 80, 150, 220, 320, 400, 600. Something important to pay attention to when you're power sanding with a drill, if you've never done it before or if you just haven't heard of this, is that the drill runs in a clockwise motion. So I want to keep all the sanding action on the left side of the pad so that I do not run it with the direction that the bowl is spinning in. In other words, I do not want to overspeed my drill. I just finished sanding up the last one on the outside, so I'm going to go ahead and take out my jam chuck and put in the first bowl. Just went ahead and put in my tourist. I'm going to go ahead and start hollowing this guy out. Whenever I finish turning a bowl, I'll always start my finish turning on the inside, just at the lip, work it down to the final thickness, make a finishing cut, and work in maybe an inch or so at a time into the bowl. That way I have all the meat at the bottom to support my cuts up here. This is the American Elm Bowl and I've just started out cutting the inside. The cut that I'm about to make right here is a finishing cut for the inside of the bowl. I'm just using the left of center part on the nose of my gouge, riding the bevel completely and letting it just slice away the wood. This leaves a really nice surface, but just make sure you do not go any farther than left of center, otherwise your gouge is going to want to snap down on you.
attack rag to clean off any dust or grime that was on the bowls. Now I'm going to spray a few coats of automotive lacquer on my paint gun on them. So I have all three of my molds finished up with three coats of lacquer and I always sand in between each coat to knock down the texture and the high spots. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't seen it already, click this video right here. It's my latest vlog on my second channel. Tune back in next Friday for a new video and I'll see you all then. Thank you for watching.